We have started the discussion on uh, temperature entropy diagram in the uh, previous sequence of uh, this video. Now, uh, here we are continuing with the same uh, topic. Um, we have drawn this uh, phase change process of H2O in the previous video where you have um, uh, ice uh, uh, at minus 5 degree heat up to 0 degree C changing uh, the phase to liquid that is water and then you have water heated from 0 degree to 200 degree uh, changing the, uh, the state from uh, liquid to vapor. Uh, during this process you have uh, four saturation points um, uh, such as uh, I, can I can draw those four points here. You have one saturation point here and uh, two here three and four on these lines. We have explained what a saturation point is in the previous video. Um, you have a, a solid saturation at point one, uh, at which point if you add uh, an infinitesimal amount of heat to uh, the uh, ice at uh, the solid saturation point, it will start to melt and uh, start forming uh, liquid. Uh, and the, uh, similarly, if you add uh, uh, <coughs> heat to um, H2O at the liquid saturation point, which is here, uh, as soon as you add an infinitesimal amount of heat, the temperature of uh, uh, the saturated liquid at zero degree C will start to rise from zero to up to 100 degree C. So that is the region where you can add heat so that uh, the temperature will increase. During the phase change process from 1 to 2, the temperature remains the same at 0 degree C. Uh, uh, no matter what amount of heat you add, the temperature will remain the same. Uh, however, in this region from 2 to 3, as soon as you start adding heat at 2, the temperature will start to rise from 0 to 1, 2, 3, up to 100 degrees C. Now, similar to the condition from 1 to 2, uh, during 3 to 4, uh, you, as you add heat to uh, the saturated liquid at 3, the phase change process will start. start. However, the temperature of this uh, process will remain at 100 degrees C. There will be no increase of temperature until the whole of liquid is converted to vapor at or saturated vapor at point 4 here. Now, as, uh, the, the liquid saturation is, is that point from where as soon as you start to add uh, heat to the saturated liquid, it will start formation of vapor. So this region is uh, is the region where uh, H2O can coexist as liquid and uh, vapor. So this is a region where uh, at 100 degrees C at one atmosphere, uh, one atmospheric pressure, H2O can coexist as liquid and vapor and at zero degrees C um, H2O at one atmospheric pressure can coexist as solid and uh, liquid. Now, at 4, you have saturated vapor. All of the liquid you have or all of the water you have has now been transferred to the vapor format or vapor state of the matter and uh, you have a saturated vapor here. Now, if you remove heat from saturated vapor, it will start to condense and uh, form liquid. And if you add heat to saturated vapor, it will... Um, start increase the temperature. So uh, as soon as you add uh, a heat to a saturated vapor at point 4, the temperature will start to rise. So you have 101 and uh, you have you can increase as much as you want uh, at the temperature of uh, vapor. And in this region, the, uh, the uh, vapor is called superheated steam. So any anywhere above 100 degrees C at one atmosphere, the steam is called superheated.
you have a liquid vapor mixture here at 100 degrees C and one atmosphere. You have a liquid region here, only liquid, and there you have a solid liquid uh, mixture from one to two, and uh, you have a, a solid region below zero degree C. So any temperature below zero at one atmosphere is solid, solid to liquid at zero degree C uh, during the phase change process and uh, a completely liquid phase from zero to 100 degree C at one atmosphere and the liquid vapor region at 100 degree C during the phase change process and above 100 degree C you have superheated steam. Now, what happens if you repeat the process at two atmosphere? You will, you will be able to generate a similar graph. I'm just drawing a graph here. You have a, a solid region and then a solid and liquid region. And then you will have a, a completely liquid region from this is a, a bit difficult to and then you will have a liquid plus a vapor region and uh, then you will have a, a vapor region only so uh, you can you can form as many graphs as you want at uh, different uh, pressure conditions but this will be the general form of uh, the phase change process of h2o at uh, uh, a, a specific pressure and uh, different temperatures. Now, if you join these uh, saturation points, um, you can draw a line um, which will eventually form the, the graph that we intend to create uh, at the end of this video. So, for example, if you join all these points at 1, say you join these, and then you join the 2s, and then you join the threes and then you join the fours you will be able to create a graph which will look like this you will have two lines here and then you will have like this which is the temperature entropy diagram of uh, water I will explain further about this graph in the next video. So do keep watching. It is important to understand either a temperature entropy or a temperature enthalpy or a pressure enthalpy or an enthalpy entropy chart if you intend to study more about the thermodynamic process of phase change. However, uh, I'm not, I'm not um, scaremongering you by giving four charts. As soon as you understand completely one of these, it will be dead easy to understand any of the other. So do keep watching. Do keep an eye for the next video in this sequence. Thank you for watching. Thanks very much. Do keep watching the next video. Thank you.